In today's video, go and check out this. It's the Genki Covert Dock by Human Things. It gives us the ability to play a Nintendo Switch pretty much anywhere without having to drag the big dock around with us. So I always get excited by these types of videos when it's a situation where I've backed something on Kickstarter and it's actually arrived. So I haven't opened this yet, so this is an unboxing kind of in real time, first time seeing it. If you're not familiar what this is, I think you pronounce it Genki, but it can be called Human Things, I think, is the, the, the branding. Uh, it's called the Covert Dock. It's for Nintendo Switch. So if you are a Nintendo Switch owner, you'll know that you get this dock and it's relatively big, it costs about 80 pounds, I think, something like that. And, um, you know, if you want to go and take your Nintendo Switch to play on a TV or project to somewhere else, you've got to unplug all the dock and everything. Um, but this is basically, that dock shrunk down into this little form factor to make it really super easy and flexible to take your Nintendo Switch anywhere to friends' houses or in a hotel room when you're traveling or whatever, and be able to play your Nintendo Switch on the big screen in just very small form factor. So uh, much easier to move around. It's got um, three connectors on it, USB-C um, for power, a USB-A, so you can kind of charge controllers, accessories, that kind of thing, and then a HDMI uh, port as well. So basically everything should come from the Nintendo Switch into this little covert dock and then out again. So I backed this in uh, August 2019. It's supposed to have been delivered around December 2019, and we're now at the end of April 2020, and it's just arrived, um, but obviously, COVID-19 outbreak will have had some impact on delivery. So this is the box, this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm interested to kind of get this set, you know, get it out and have a look at it. It's 10 times smaller than the original dock. Um, pretty powerful and reliable, hopefully. Uh, let's see how things go. So we'll open the boxing. It says, thank you for supporting Genki by Human Things. Where will you play the covert dock? So we'll look inside. Okay, so we'll look in here first. Okay, so there's a little uh, user manual, which we'll look at later. Kind of funky cool sticker. Okay. So a 1.8 meter USB-C cable. One is obviously with an angle connector on uh, and one is just standard. One thing I'm not sure about, uh, I can't comment on it because I don't have one, is the Nintendo um, Lite. I wonder if this will work um, with that. A little pouch that came with it. I think I remember this is a stretch doll. I have pouch to be able to keep this in. Just to give you an idea of just how small this item is going to be. Okay, let's have the rest of the box here. We have European plug. I'm not sure what one that is, but basically different different countries. And actually this is pretty cool because it's a UK version that I've ordered. It's come with the UK plug already attached to it. So obviously you can just get these off by um, hopefully pushing down on here. Okay, so this is it. So got the little Genki logo on the top there. It's like a semi-translucent black plastic. Underneath it's got the, the model number, input and output voltage information. So it'd be interested to see how hot this gets. And uh, I'll give you some feedback on that in a moment in the video when we switch to actually trying this out. I'm going to put it on the TV in my living room because I have the dock for the switch upstairs uh, in my bedroom. But yeah, USB-C, USB-A and HDMI. So it's pretty cool. Let me just see how you get this uh, plug off. Okay, so nothing in the manual about removing the plug. Um, one thing that obviously no, it comes with a one year warranty. It doesn't have a HDMI lead, you've got to provide your own one of those. Uh, I've got one of those around somewhere, so let's just have a little look. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, that's the end of it. So obviously if you, in the US, this is super simple for you, just put that down and plug it in. But obviously if you're outside, you need to use one of these adapters. But uh, that's it, let's get this thing plugged in and see kind of if it works, that's the main thing. Okay, so hopefully it's gonna work as a viewing angle. You can see the, the TV and the covert dock and the switch all plugged in here. So I plugged everything in and then I did something extra. So I have uh, this 8-bit dongle which enables me to use um, my PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. I've got it in the official Nintendo dock. And fantastically, it works. So the um, USB-A socket on here supports the dongle as well. So I not only can I you know, play my Switch on a TV using the covert dock, but I also have the ability to control um, the games from it as well. It works really well, so I'm just going to launch Hollow Knight. So we need to uh, we do that in a little bit instead. And just see how the game plays. So for the quick test I've done, there's no lag or delay or anything. Everything just works um, exactly as it should. But uh, just do a very quick bit of gameplay so you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with how simple this thing is. It's nice and small and compact and sort of the, the bulky dock. It just means if you are traveling, you don't have to worry about removing all the cables and everything, you know, to you know, transport and play your dock somewhere. Just take the covert dock with you as well. The only thing that isn't that great is um, that little travel bag that comes with it with a UK plug on the end. It does stick out, so it offers a bit of protection, but really that that pouch is a bit too small. It would be nice if it was a little bit bigger to be able to store a HDMI cable and the USB-C cable in there as well, but not the end of the world. Let's um, start the game. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so no lag or delay. works really really well. I'm really impressed with the uh, Genki Dock. So that's it, the Genki Dock. I think it's really good. Uh, I definitely recommend picking one up if you like to travel with your Nintendo Switch. And uh, leave some comments below if you've got one and uh, hey, ask any questions. But... Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.